Greetings to another tour with HiddenIncaTours.com. Today we're exploring Chachapoyas. So this is Lima Airport and I'm about to get on a Dash 8 twin propeller plane to take me uh, over the course of an hour and a half into the high jungle of northern Peru. So here we are flying over the coast. You can see it's very desert-like. And as we continue, there are some large salt uh, ponds you can see in the bottom left. And now we're up in the highlands themselves. And you notice it's not incredibly lush at the moment, but it's not the wet season yet. And now here we are about to touch down at the small town called Chachapoyas. And Chachapoyas is actually named after an ancient culture called the Chachapoya. And uh, that was a name that the Inca gave of people called the Cloud Warriors of uh, this location. So, of course, we drive from the airport that only has two gates, I think. And we're slowly moving into the town itself of Chachapoyas, population about 20,000 people and some of the buildings are from the colonial era so Chachapoyas was founded as a colonial Spanish town in the 16th century probably 20 or so years after the city of Cusco and it rains a lot here as you can see hence the name of the ancient culture the cloud warriors because they literally lived up in the high jungle which is rather wet. So now we're off the main road and we're on a series of dirt roads and now we're entering the actual cloud forest itself. Whoop, now it's getting wetter. And here we are slowly inching our way up to I think about 9,000 feet above sea level through road repairs. Ah, finally a bit of somewhat sunshine. Oh, now it's getting wet again. Okay, so this is the actual final road that takes us up to Quaylap, which is the name of the ancient location. And we reached a point where we were plowing through mud, actually clay mud, and all of the four-wheel drive vehicles we had got stuck. So, we had to get out and we had to start walking or climbing to this location you see at the top, that is Quaylap. And looking up from this potato field, inching our way slowly up in elevation, and the final stage with the film crew required horses. So here I am being guided up through the mud and the muck along an ancient trail towards the fortress of Quaylap. And here we are. This is the beginning of the look at this massive 15 acre fortress slash ceremonial center slash major meeting place on top of a mountain. Quaylap was begun most likely about 600 AD and then these people, the cloud warriors of the Chachapoya, were conquered by the Inca about 1480. The Inca were not able to actually enter the site itself because of its very narrow passageways so they simply surrounded Quaylap and waited until the people ran out of food which took between two and three months. So here we have part of the vista and the curious fact that almost all of the 400 buildings in the Quaylap complex are round which is very atypical of Andean pre-Columbian places. The Inca and other cultures tended to build uh, rectangular structures but in Quaylap Again, we have 400 plus round buildings. Part of the logic, supposedly, I was told, uh, told by the local guide, Jose, 
is that because of the high winds that frequent this location, a round structure is much more stable, and so the wind can move around the building, whereas if it's pushing against a flat wall, it could destabilize it. So here we have again another one of those um, round structures. In general, it would be for a family of 8 to 10 people. And so the population of Quelap was somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 people. And this is an interesting design. You see that um, diamond shape? Those are supposedly the eyes of the puma. And so that is a design specific to the Chachapoya culture. The early chroniclers stated about the Chachapoya, while they were still in existence, that they were the most beautiful looking people that they had encountered, that they had very light colored skin, and many had red hair and blonde hair as well. So some people theorize that the Chachapoya may have been people who arrived from Europe around 2,000 years ago. However, that will require some DNA testing of the descendants in order to find out if that is the case. There are people of Chachapoya descent, but they are heavily mixed in with uh, Inca blood and also post or colonial Spanish blood as well. So a very interesting location to visit if you're ever up in northern Peru in the high jungle. This is one of the entrance slash exits and it becomes so narrow at one point that only one person can fit through and that's why the Inca had such a difficult time trying to conquer this site. They eventually did, but they did actually also adopt Coilap as one of their ceremonial structures. And uh, compared to other locations and other cultures that were forced to, uh, to move from their original location, the Cloud Warriors supposedly were allowed to stay, uh, at least a high per percentage of them were allowed to stay in the Coilap area. And uh, the nearby town called Lima Bamba supposedly has a 10 to 15 percent of the population have blondish or reddish hair. So whether that is pre-Columbian or whether that's the result of the Spanish conquest and other people, uh, that will require some DNA testing at some point in time. So again, final view of Quelap contains more stone than the Great Pyramid of Egypt.